Hey guys, free pick time. All right, back with another free play. So I got another baseball play for you guys, and hopefully it goes just a little bit better than yesterday. Yesterday, our free pick was the New York Yankees first five inning, and I really didn't have a whole lot I didn't like about that play, but it's hard to predict a rookie pitcher getting absolutely blown up, and that's exactly what happened. We were down 11 runs by the second inning, so not very pretty. Fortunately for us, you don't lose any extra money for getting blown out, but it still sucks losing in general. So we got another baseball play. I'm going to walk you guys through it, talk a little bit about the math and why I like the play. Before we jump into that, if you're interested in my full card guys, BenderWins.com, $99 a month gets you my full card every single day, plus all the masterclass educational videos and the Bender Wins Guide to Professional Sports Betting. We have been absolutely on fire over the last 30 days. Hope to keep it going today. We got a lot going on. I've already given out an early soccer play. Got a big soccer play going tomorrow at noon. Um, fair amount of baseball a uh, tiny bit of hockey, tiny bit of NBA, cut a couple NBA props and stuff I think have good value, and a lot of props in baseball that I know have great value. So um, that's what we're doing there. Benderwins.com if you're interested. $99 for an entire month, doesn't matter what day you join. All right, so for today, we're going to go with San Diego Padres. First five innings, minus 155. Um, cap this game through the first five innings. As San Diego having... Um, a 2.9 run to 2.1 run advantage, okay? So expecting San Diego to put up, on average, 2.9 versus Milwaukee's 2.1, all right? Um, translating that over into actual win-loss tie figures, they should win about 56% of the time, only lose 32% of the time, and that means they're going to tie 12% of the time. And as I said yesterday, ties don't affect us. That gives us an expected win rate of 63.6%, meaning that true line should be minus 175. Factoring in our margin of error, this would basically take us down right to minus 155, which is where we're betting it. So if we're off the full three at margin of error, this would be a long-term break-even bet. However, I do believe we have a nice edge here. Uh, pitching matchup, um, looking at Michael Walker to get 0.9 runs less per nine innings than Lauer, okay? San Diego should see about 0.6 more runs per nine innings versus lefty pitching. So we got a good matchup here. And if you take those numbers, it actually balances pretty much out. If you divide those numbers by five innings and then add them together, it pretty much balances out to exactly where I capped. And that's what you want to see, guys. You want to see a lot of things in sports betting that are just continuing to reaffirm your picks, okay? We got some steam on here. I like this play. Benderwins.com for the full card. Best of luck, guys, and we'll see you soon.